Hey everybody, it's Brian Davis, Mr. Buyslot. Gonna bring you guys a flip deal, wholesale, uh, available deal. Uh, Kim and I went and picked up on Thursday or Friday? Friday. Friday. We went and picked up this deal. Uh, originally I bought it because I planned to put them on eBay and run some through the auctions. I've been telling you guys I was working on this deal for a little while. So... I've decided I'm going to offer it out as a flip first. If that doesn't happen in the next couple days, we'll start selling them through the auction and some of it will go to eBay, but the majority of it I like to do at auction, so that's probably what we'll do. So I'm going to give you guys first-hand view as we open the door and explain what it is. Okay, there's the truck. As you can see, the ground is defrosting. <clears throat> Here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. That's snow on the ground. I'm sure that Pam will make a comment that it snowed because I worked. But it, in reality, it really snowed because it was cold. So let's see what we got. Okay, here's what we picked up. So, as you can see, some of these box, boxes are marked Karen. And you can see there's some baskets down here. I have a full list. Um, the guy sent me a full Excel like spreadsheet showing all of the pieces. So what this collection is are Tom Clark. Right here, you can see. Tom Clark. They made gnomes and figures and figurines and stuff like that. And these are the original boxes they all came in. Some of them have multiples inside. <clears throat> but I'll show you guys kind of what they are and then I'm going to unload some of the truck and then give you a better view of some of them just so it doesn't look like a bunch of boxes. So here's what the deal is going to be um, for those of you who are waiting. The deal is there are over 700 pieces in this lot. Um, the guy went to a lot of I guess meetups and had Tom Clark sign a bunch of them. If you're truly interested, I can email you the list that I received. Uh, price, I'm thinking around 15,000 for the lot. I know some of them do not bring, you know, more than 15 or $20 a piece. And that price is right around the $20 a piece mark. Understand that um, some of them you know, like the Abraham Lincoln, which is in here. And there's some really early stuff, like before they numbered them. And prototype type stuff and a lot of signed items bring four, five, six hundred apiece. Uh, there's some really rare stuff in here. <clears throat> Obviously, do your research. There are over 700 figures. A lot of them are signed and numbered. I will give you guys a quick view in here. I haven't really dug out the figures out of the boxes but I can show you here okay so this is probably about 13 inches and you can see here that's how he marks his stuff this is from 1983 it would be number 92 and that is probably the gnome's name is usually on one of these Earl the Pearl is the name of this guy so a lot of times like this says kiwi so i don't know if it's kiwi or earl the pearl and there's his books but it would be numbered right there so you'd see 1983 number 92 and then the guy's name i don't see this one being signed and signed Here is, oh, this one's cute. A girl with the bunny <clears throat> right here. Rosemary from Tom Clark, 1983. This is number 51. Tom Clark. And her name would be Rosemary. I'm not sure who this is. Looks like a football coach.
of Schaubler, Rose, Grange, I'm not sure who this one is, but this is Tom Clark, 1983, you can see all the info there. I know we've got like Bill Elliott uh, as a race car driver. Okay. Another figure here. This one has a cool little coin. Your gnome. And here's his markings on the back. Again, 1983. So this one box had five different figures in it. This guy. This is Joseph's. Joseph, 1981. So he's really early. And this is just the TC mark. So this one I don't think will be numbered. Uh, it is actually numbered over here, number three. But there you can see it is hand signed by Tom Clark. So these are pretty awesome. Um, generally on the low end, the, the really cheap ones are 20 bucks. And the more expensive ones go up into the four or $500 range. Um, and then there are some that I've seen in the thousands. I believe Mountain Man Treasure sold one a while back, like a really early one for like 2,800. Um, so this is just you know, a good idea for you guys. I wanted to... Uh, to show you and make the offer to you, it would be, you know, asking for around 15000 for 700 and I think it's 702 or 701 pieces. I will deliver. I'll just leave them right in the truck other than what I'm going to take out for the video. Um, I will deliver within, say, four hours of South Carolina. So upper Georgia, you know, across South Carolina, North Carolina, lower Virginia, West Virginia area. Somewhere in that area, uh, if I can make it within four hours, I'm happy to, to deliver them in person if you guys are interested. So I'll bring you the rest of the video once I get some of these out of here. Okay, so I emptied out a few of these baskets here and this one box, and I kind of laid these around. This will just give you guys an idea of what there is. If you're truly interested and want me to email you a copy of the list, that I have that shows everything. I did notice that there are probably, and I think he told me that there's about five that are broken. Um, I will show you guys, like here, I can see, you know, on this Shakespeare one. Yeah, you can glue it, it's not missing anything, but. So there's Shakespeare, Uncle Herschel, I think that's a good one. There's the baseball guy, a bunch of the people. This one here is awesome with the turtle and all the figures. You can see they're really dusty. They've been in storage for, you know, something like 20 years. Um, then you have the older guys here. Jacob. <clears throat> this one's hand signed. Right there. And Newspaper Boy. You have Rip Van Winkle there. You have uh, Matthew Brody, I think. The photographer with the camera you have some other large figures you have hamlet <clears throat> there with the sword and everything another one here's some plaques that they got from jc penny when they were selling this one is a pretty rare one um, but her nose is chipped but she has the removable cauldron i think she's a really rare one um <clears throat> so that's just a very small sample Again, I'm asking for 15000 That includes me delivering up to four hours or so. You know, everything's negotiable. Um, if you're going to come and pick it up, I'm happy to work with you a little bit on price because then I'm not spending my time or gas or anything like that. I'm going to leave this stuff in the truck for a few days. Just it doesn't make sense for me to empty it if somebody's going to buy it. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a chance. This video will come out on Sunday. Again, asking price, 15 grand, delivered up to four or five hours away. All of these boxes are full. Um, most of them are the original boxes. 
Some of them have the COAs. The list tells you which ones are hand signed, what number they are, um, the name of each one, and it's in alphabetical order. So it cuts out a lot of the work. But it winds up being a little over $20 a piece across the board. And these are some of the rarer ones. Uh, definitely have some of the really early stuff, like before it was numbered and whatnot. And if you guys are interested in this deal, what you'll do is you will comment below, just put interested, and then you will email me at mrbuyslot795 at gmail.com. Again, Mr. Buyslot, so M R B U Y S A L O T 795 at gmail.com. I'll put it up here somewhere. See if it focuses on my finger. It's not going to. And you will just email me and say you're interested, that you want the list. First come, first serve. First person that says they want it, they will get it. Um, if you're in the area and need to see it, you're welcome to come and take a look. Again, you will email me at mrbuyslot795 at gmail.com. Asking price $15,000, which makes them a little over $20 a piece across the board. And again, there is some really rare stuff. Um... Probably a lot more so than I even I know. That one's awesome. I, I love the one with the turtle. My wife likes that one. So hopefully we will hear from you guys. And if not, then we will be bringing this a lot of this to auction if it's small enough that I can ship it pretty easily. And that's about it. I'm just offering to flip a deal to you guys and, you know, pretty much double my money and move on. Okay, guys. It's so Mr. Bizelot signing off. Again, you must comment below interested or comment and tell me which, which one you like. If you guys just want to comment and put in something down there, just tell me which ones you like or if there's a specific one you're looking for and maybe I can help you if I don't sell the whole lot. Okay, guys, Mr. Bizelot signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.